Hi, brothers and sisters. All right, this is a continuance from my prayer book I'm here. But um, I'm really just feeling led in my spirit because sometimes, you know, it's hard for people to say this, the sinner's prayer out loud to, you know, to repent and to um, admit and confess that they are a sinner and ask God to forgive them and to repent of their sins. And it's hard to ask, you know, it's first of all, sometimes it's hard to ask for help. Because there's a spirit of a stubbornness and of pride. And I can do this on my own type of attitude. But, you know, so if that is the case on your end, and it's hard for you to even speak out loud um, the sinner's prayer, know this. Know this first and foremost, that God loves you. And you are his precious creation. No if, ands, or buts. I don't care what is in the past that you have done. He is saying, come. Come. I sent my son to make a way for you. Today is a new day. This is the day, and now is the time. God wants to help you start new. Only God can do that. But we each have a part. We have a choice to receive and to walk in his truth. But first, it takes us to acknowledge our sins and then give them to God. Then the past can remain and stay in the past. Don't bring the past in to your now or future. Leave that in God's hands too by confessing them to God. So you see, we have to confess our sins, confess what we have done wrong to God, and ask for His forgiveness. And He is just, and He is righteous, and He is gracious, and He will forgive. And then we move on forward with Him. In the newness of his life and his plan for you break out of the old way there is a new way a new life in Jesus Christ I am in it now and it's real and he is real his word says for I know the thoughts that I think toward you saith the Lord Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. And that's Jeremiah 29, 11. For the Lord is good. His mercy and kindness and steadfast love endures forever. And that's Jeremiah 33, 11. It is the goodness of God that leads and draws us to repentance. Romans 2, 4. God is love. God is good. He wants the best for our lives. And while we are alive, he strongly desires us to come to him as we are. Come as you are. You can't get yourself perfect. You can't cleanse yourself up. You know, if you have a problem with stealing, you know, you can't just all of a sudden stop stealing and then decide to come to Christ. No. If you have a problem with, with, with drugs or if you're like an alcoholic, you can't expect, okay, well, whenever I stop drinking, you know, then, you know, Christ will accept me and maybe he, he can forgive me. No. Come as you are. He won't beat you. He won't beat us. He doesn't say one thing and do another. God is trustworthy. You can hold him to his word. And that's a lot of the problem nowadays. It's so hard for people to trust other people. Because people lie. Men lie. 
You know, the devil is out there and he speaks into our minds and he speaks lies to people and causes us and other people to lie. But God doesn't lie. He is not a liar. He is honest and he is real. He is the truth. And he loves you. Even the worst can come to him and repent. And sincerely ask Jesus Christ into their heart. And become one of the sons of God. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. You see... We have to have a right attitude in our heart because the Bible says that in the last days that our hearts, that men's hearts will grow cold and you see it. I see it. So you have to have the right heart attitude. And so Heavenly Father, I need you. I need your precious gift bought for me through your son, Jesus Christ. For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation. Not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. And that's 2 Corinthians 7 verse 10. And here's a prayer for a right heart. Heavenly Father, I come to you and ask you in Jesus' name to set me free from any wrong thoughts, feelings of fear, doubt and unbelief lord jesus i ask you to free me from any thoughts that i have that is contrary to you and is hindering me now from coming to you i ask you father god to deliver me and help me now to be free from all hindrances i have in becoming your born again kingdom child in jesus christ's holy name I resist the devil and all his evil spirits must flee and leave my presence. Lord God, remove any lies and hindrances and help me so I can say the above prayer of salvation in earnest from my heart. Lord Jesus, I ask you to help me now. I choose to believe in you. I choose to trust in you now to speak and pray to you the prayer of salvation, which is enough to help me and cause me to become your kingdom child. Go back to the prayer above and pray it out loud. And so if you are wanting to receive salvation, you know, and you want to know the and say the sinner's prayer you can contact me you can email me my email is eight period h y a t t zero eight zero nine at gmail dot com or you can write it in a comment below and so that's just a little bit of help for you um, I'm praying for you all, you know, we are in some very interesting times, very interesting time for us to be alive. See, God has a plan and he has a purpose for my life and he has a purpose for your life. And if you are alive today, there is a purpose and you need to seek out his purpose, but you cannot seek out his purpose for your life without first seeking him and just and to come to him come as you are let him bathe you up let him cleanse you and get rid of all that junk and all those hindrances and all that mess and destruction that the devil tried to bring to your life and allow him to restore you and to restore your family and to restore your relationships because that devil, you know, he made a mess of my life. And it doesn't happen overnight. But it does happen. 
So trust the Lord. Trust God. Trust Jesus. He is alive. He is risen. And the Holy Spirit is our best friend. He's our helper. And He gets us through the day. Through all the chaos that you see in this world, you can have peace. But that peace is a supernatural peace. Not a peace that the world provides, but a peace that God gives when you seek Him. So trust in Him, believe in Him, and have faith. I love you all so much, and I will talk to you later. And I pray that this helped somebody. Bye.